y'all ordering from Starbucks gives me freaking anxiety. Like the way they be rushing you, like, girl, why would I want my receipt? Uh, -uh. she trying to drip me in my change like I'm stupid. y'all hear it these are like the you know cognac put ice in them for you some hennessy and ice like the real bougie and and it's like a dollar 25 cent per glass look at them glasses they ain't even that cheap in dollar tree no more do you know you make me float welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jack marie aka pretty brown marie if you are new to my channel then welcome all you have to do to join the pretty gang is hit that subscribe button and if you are a guy then i still gotta come up with a name for y'all but yeah but uh if you're a returning subscriber then gang gang so in today's video hmm so in today's video we are going to be so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a vlog. I've been really into vlogging lately. I don't know. It's just, it's it's a lot more free flowing. Like you ain't gotta try too much or think of what to say. Like it's just you being your authentic self. So I was like, I really think I'm gonna just mostly make vlogs. Plus a couple of y'all commented and said that y'all like the vlogs better. So y'all, these sun rays get me every time. I don't know maybe it's because I have my camera in the dashboard but but yeah so the first thing I have to do is I'm going to Starbucks I'm gonna order I wanted to try that bacon gouda breakfast sandwich I never tried that before hopefully it's good and the bread is not hard because I'm gonna be mad because um, I'm really hungry I didn't eat nothing at all yesterday like it's like times where I go for a whole day without eating and then I think about it and I'll be like did I eat something yesterday and I don't and I don't know why I do that but all right y'all so I'm at TikTok I mean <clears throat> I'm at Starbucks and I saw I found the video that I was trying to you know for the drink that I'm trying to get at Starbucks and it was basically a pineapple refresher lemonade with strawberry puree in a cup but I I'm not a big fan of pineapple I already did a video where I tried a pineapple stuff that just came out and I'm thinking I want to try a mango lemonade with strawberry puree and raspberry syrup in a cup. I want to try that. I want to try that. Like, I don't know if nobody tried that yet, but if you do see somebody try it, bitch, give me my props. Okay? Give me my props. Because I ain't trying to hear it. Hello, I'll be right with you. Okay. Oh my god. What can I get for you today? Can I get a um, mango lemonade refresher? What size? What's the size at the venti? The uh, medium one. I have a tall grande venti and then turn top. Basically, I want a medium. <laughs> I'm sorry? I want a medium. A medium? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want that with strawberry. Do y'all have raspberry syrup? I do. Okay, can I get that and... I'm trying to... Oh, strawberry puree. I'm out of strawberry puree. Dang. What other kind of puree y'all have? I only have the strawberry puree. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. I guess that's good. Oh, and I need. And I'm sorry. I need the um bacon gouda. Hold on. A bacon gouda. Turkey bacon cheddar. Yeah, the bacon gouda and egg sandwich. Anything else? No, that's it. <laughs> Eleven thirty-four. All right. Y'all, ordering from Starbucks gives me freaking anxiety. Like, the way they be rushing you, like, and then on top of that, you know Starbucks is technically supposed to be. So, anytime one of us come here, it's like, they, they, I don't know. I just be feeling some type of way. But, yeah, give me my sandwich and give me my drink so I can go. That girl got money. That girl got money. Let me stop playing. That ain't shit but $100. <laughs> That I'm about to go throw on these nails. Even though it's probably going to be more than that. It's probably about to be about 200 And I feel like she went up on the price on my nails. Like. Why? 
and people literally be talking me into anything like she be like oh you need to get a new set which i did though and so i can't blame her for that so i got the new set but you know you have to you have to pay for getting a brand new set but it's like my nails was like 150 at the most depending on how much designs and stuff i get it might have went up to like 160 170 but then i feel like since i got the new set now she's been charging me 222 230 like whoa i accepted the two something when i first got the first set because i just included that in the price you know because it's a brand new set but why are we still charging 200 and something dollars but yeah we're gonna see what she charging um today of course i'm gonna pay it because i want my nails done and i don't feel like doing them myself so yeah thank you yeah um what's that i forgot the name of the sauce it's like red sauce it's like hot Sriracha? yeah <laughs> What she left at me, Jill. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You got you got a receipt? Or did you give me it already? Do you want your receipt? Yeah. Girl, why would I want my receipt? Uh -uh. She trying to get me on my change like I'm stupid. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Girl, why would you think I don't want my receipt? I want to see what I got. Like, what kind of question is that? Do you want your receipt? I'm asking for it, ain't I? I'm definitely asking for it. But y'all, give me my receipt. Okay, y'all. So I'm up here at the place. I'm up here at the nail salon. I'm about to park over here, though, so she don't see me. Because if she see me, she's going to be like, why are you still sitting outside? Girl, I got to eat. I gotta eat and I gotta talk my ish. Okay, I gotta eat and I gotta talk my ish. Let me see what this girl bring me up for. Um, a grande mango refresher lemonade with raspberry syrup. Ooh, I hope that's good because I just be naming some stuff. Like, girl, I don't know what I be ordering from Starbucks. I do not know what I be ordering from Starbucks. And I really wanted to try that one drink that I saw on TikTok, but I'm tired of cupping y'all. And then we got the bacon gouda sandwich. It was four seventy five, and the drink was four ninety five. I gave her a twenty, and my change was eight sixty six. Okay, just making sure. That's all I wanted to make sure because people be stealing your change nowadays. Like, they be stealing your change. They be trying not to give you your receipt, and then stuff be moving so fast, you know, because this is a fast paced world. So you be done gave somebody twenty dollars, and then they tell you that the price is thirteen something, and then give you back some change because they might be good at math, you know. And then you don't think nothing of it because it's like, you know, normal activity. But baby, how did two drinks and a cupcake come up to $21? How did two drinks and a cupcake come up to anything over $7? Like, I'm, I'm just confused. And then you be thinking about it later and then you don't have no receipt so you can't even prove it. Like, that's why I be wanting my receipt. That's exactly why I be wanting my receipt. So we about to get into the sandwich, but y'all know I got to make a TikTok video. So let me head over to TikTok and show them what I got because we're going to do a um, taste test on both channels. But when I come back, of course, I'm going to be done took a bite at the sandwich and I'm going to be done took a sip out the cup. But, you know, all for the sake of TikTok and YouTube. I'm trying to please both of my audience, you know. Love all y'all. So I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, so I just got done with my TikTok. Make sure you go follow me on TikTok at underscore Pretty Brown Marie underscore. My socials are the same. It's Pretty Brown Marie, but my Instagram and my TikTok both have the underscores in the front and the back. And for YouTube, it's just Pretty Brown Marie. But this is the drink, and the drink is the Mango Refresher Lemonade with raspberry syrup. I wanted to add strawberry puree, but they didn't have any at the place where I went. So, yeah, this is what I got, and... Then I went to try that um, bacon gouda sandwich, like I told y'all, and it's smack. So, um, the drink that I wanted to try was the pineapple refresher lemonade, add strawberry puree. They call it something, I forgot, but I don't, I'm not really a fan of pineapple, and pineapples make my, like, it make my tongue, like, itch. I don't know if I'm allergic to it or what, 
But it just, anytime I eat anything with pineapples, my tongue start itching, so. And this drink is good, though. And this drink is really good. I don't like how I go to Starbucks and then they be, like, the girl was literally laughing at me because I ain't know the difference between a venti, a grande, or whatever, whoop, whoop. I usually just say, let me get a medium, let me get a small, let me get a large. And then they'll be like, so you want a grande? Bitch, is that a large? I'll be like, let me get a small. They'll be like, so you want a venti? Bitch, is that a small? Like, you know what a small is in y'all terms? Like, that should be getting on my nerves. That's why I don't like ordering from Starbucks. But here go the sandwich. I added some... Here go the sandwich. I added some sriracha. Oop, y'all can't even see it. It's real. Yeah. So I added some sriracha. It got the bacon. It got egg. And I and it got the gouda cheese. This sandwich is good. Mm. Like, the egg is just on a whole nother level. It's not giving fake eggs like Walmart. I mean, not Walmart, but McDonald's eggs. It's not giving that. It's giving, like, real eggs. It just look fake. This thing was about gone. You about to kill this. You know how you look over? And people be people be driving, like, sitting up straight like this in Tennessee. And I'm just like, girl, we know you got your driver's license. I am not the police. Like, you, dri you literally drive like that all day? That is so uncomfortable. Like, I like to chill, relax. Like, mm, one hand with it. Or even if I do use two hands. Like, who who is still driving like this? That's just how I feel. It'd be funny to me. Like, I mean, I'm not hating, you know. It could be helping out your back posture. Maybe I should drive like that. I never tried it. But it's like, you learn that in driver school. Like, after driver school, who's literally driving? I didn't think people still be really driving like that. That's all. I didn't think that was, like, a real thing. You know? But, yeah, this sandwich? Y'all, yeah, I've really been into my Erica Badu mood lately. Because... Honestly, I feel like that music they putting out now, it just don't hit my soul like that. Like, it's just too loud, too rowdy. I feel like I be mad about everything. <laughs> is that hair, bitch? What is that? Oh, that's a piece of egg. Girl, I was about to say. I feel like that music they be making now be making me real rowdy. And it's like, for what? But you know why? Because music is the gateway to the soul. You keep listening to that rowdy music, you're going to get rowdy results. You're going to start to become rowdy. If you listen to Knuck If You Buck every day, you're going to be wanting to Knuck If You Buck every day. Anything, any little thing a person say to you, you're going to be wanting to Knuck If You Buck because it's set in your soul. It's set in your spirit, you know? So I started listening to Erica Badu and it just gave me calm vibes. You know, it give me calm vibes. I be feeling real like I'm floating on clouds. You know. So y'all, I'm trying to eat real fast because I was supposed to be in there at 12 o'clock. It's 12.05 p.m. 
right y'all so here go the nails i couldn't show y'all up there by the window but look at these nails baby it's crocodile um the lv we be mixing i be like mixing up designs i'd be like i want a mixture of this that and the third so this is the nails definitely given i'm just now getting out and it's 250. <laughs> so yeah it's 250. and y'all that's how long it takes for me to get my nails done that's exactly how long it takes for me to get my nails done and it's annoying but yeah y'all i had to get out of there i'm i'm still gonna get my pedicure because i was supposed to be getting a last time i got a pedicure was like a month ago i only get a pedicure like once every month but since it's summertime i try to get it as soon as i start seeing it grow out and stuff you know like the paint and stuff because i do like to wear sandals in the summertime but um i'm gonna have to come back to get my pedicure because your girl got stuff to do like this took literally what time i said i got here at 12 i got here at 12 and this literally took three hours so your girl got stuff to do stuff closes at five today is wednesday so i do have to go register for classes which means i have to go pick up my man because he's supposed to be registering for classes too i gotta go get the kids hopefully everybody's dressed because that's gonna take off more time um i need to go to a home store and find a car this this whole truck about to hit me i need to find me a carpet and i need to find a some curtains i want to put them in my room i'm sorry if my phone is shaking i don't know i need to get a new well, I do have a um, new camera stand coming. It goes like in your vents, which I always wanted one of those because I wanted to be down here a little bit more because that sun be like making my phone real hot up here on the dashboard. So I want it more like in the vents so that my phone could be cool. But yeah, I got one of those coming. But um, and I also got a car decoration, luxury car decoration haul because your girl bought the bling and all of that. Like. It's not going to be giving too much bling, but it's going to be giving just enough bling. But y'all going to see that video. I'm waiting on my stuff to come. So, yeah, stay tuned for that video. Um, What else, y'all? So, yeah, I said I got to go to the school. I'm on my way to go pick them up right now. So, hopefully, like I said, everybody's ready because it's 2.53 and they close at 5. And I've been saying I was going to go up to this school and register for classes for the longest. I just passed my last class, got a B, and the um, four classes I took before that I got two A's and two B's so your girl your girl got it okay your girl got it and I'm going for medical coding and billing right now because I thought that's what I want to do but I think I want to change it to like phlebotomy or I'm leaning more towards like um pharmacy technician or something like that because I like to be I don't like to do all that typing I, don't, I, don't, I could type with my nails don't get me wrong because them papers I had to write last semester with my my four classes I had to do a lot of typing so I could type with nails but it's just the posture like medical coding and billing if you actually get a job in that field I feel like it's gonna take a lot out of your posture because just me doing my homework had my posture like girl I gotta take a break because you know I don't, I don't want to deal with that like I ain't I ain't trying to have no broke back like that so i want to change my field of study and i might do that today when i go up there but yeah i'm about to pull up at the house and we're gonna see if they ready and yeah all right y'all so of course i get to the house and absolutely nobody's dressed absolutely nobody but yeah now everybody's dressed and they're gonna probably have me paying an arm and a leg just to have it sitting in there for a day yeah i'm gonna see y'all when i get to the school Alright y'all, so I'm up here at the school. I just gotta register for my classes, but I gotta find out what building my um advisor is in in order to find her over there. So I'm gonna walk across the street and I'm gonna find her like that. But I'm gonna go in this building and ask who my advisor is. And yeah, get this done with. Then I gotta go get me something to eat again because your girl is hungry. Alright y'all, so I got registered for my classes, the paper in the back, but I got registered for the classes. So now we about to go get something to eat. I came to this place called, mm, what is this called? New York Steaks, New York City Steak and Gyro. 
Army City Steak and Gyro. Um, dang, I probably should have came in, huh? Cause do y'all take the order here or? Oh, I want to get the chicken bacon ranch um sandwich, but I don't want the onions on there. Um, two two chicken nugget kids. Oh, well, how many nuggets come in the kids meal? Okay, yeah, two chicken nuggets kids meal. Um, lemonade. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm light ice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You want me to pull up? You want me to pull up or? Oh, okay. <laughs> It's hot. Hi. Oh, I got two of these chicken nugget kids meals. The nuggets look good. Mom. Is it hot? Here. Those chicken nuggets are good. So good. I got some sauce though. the oh i got the chicken bacon ranch um basically like a philly cheese steak mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i gave her some of her fries she ain't gonna eat all these fries so i'm about to eat some of her fries with mine and hope and pray that it's good Smells so good, though. Oh, that's good. I used to come here and get their wings because they were the perfect size. If you ever saw that video where I did the sit down mukbang type video, I told y'all what type of wings I like. And they used to sell those type of wings. Like, I don't like them too big. And I don't like them too, like, small to where they, like, crispy hard. Because I get them fried well done, usually. I get my wings crispy. So, if the wings is too small, then there don't be no meat in them. And the outside just be crispy. So, I don't like it too small and I don't like it too big. And that's the type of wings they used to sell. But then, one day, I came here and the wings was fat as I don't know what. It looked like they was on steroids. So I gave them another chance and I came back another day, like maybe a month later and the wings were still the same. So I don't know if they downgraded on their wings just to get a bigger bulk of chicken wings, but I ain't going for it, so. And this was the closest thing by the school that I was willing to get. So yeah. They didn't even give me my drink. Oh no, I ain't get no drink cause I ain't get no combo. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish my food y'all.
finally made it home. So I want to show y'all what I got. Now I went to a place called Roses. Okay. I don't know how many people have a Roses, but it's sort of like Maxway, you know, it's like that. So first thing I got was this Ajax. Now I'm, I'm about to start shopping in Roses a whole lot more. This Ajax was $4.49. So this Ajax was $4.49, it's filled all the way to the top. You know how you go in the store and it be like low and you have to like steal some out of the other one and pour it in here. This is what this is giving. When you take the lid off, it's like damn near overflowing. <laughs> that was $4.49, less than $5. I got the Big Body Dove. This was $5.99. It don't get no better than that. Like look at this Dove. This is the big one. Like, I didn't even get to smell it, though, because I should have just, duh, I should have. Oh, my God, that smells so good. This is the Invigorating Ritual with Avocado Oil and Calendula Extract. I just picked up one because I couldn't smell none of them, so I just went by, like, which look cuter on the front, and I'm glad I got that one. I got this Gain um, Dish Detergent. This was for and I usually get Dawn, but them shelves was bare. Like they were empty. Like I can tell people know about the, I mean, I can tell people know about roses and it was mostly older people in there. Like, I feel like the Lord steered me in that direction to go hit roses because I would have never, I would have went to Walmart and been mad and probably spent about $200 on this same stuff. Next, I got the Windex and this is the bootleg Windex. This was only a dollar. One dollar, and this one is bigger than the regular Windex. This one is thirty-two fluid ounces. I don't, I don't be feeling like the Windex I be having. I feel like the real Windex they done made it skimpier. I got these curtains because my room. I don't know if you can see it. So currently, this is my room. It's basically black curtains over there. This little cute picture, black curtains right here, and then this is my bed. This is more stuff that I'm gonna show y'all. And yeah, so yeah, I got the um window panels. That's what they call. But look at the material. Look at this material, it's real thick. Like, you know some good material when you see it. Look at this price, $9.99. <laughs> Child, got two of them. Rang up to 19, how much did it ring up to? Two panels, they rang up to $19.98. Less than $20 for these two thick behind panels. I got this, of course, the rod to hang it up, but I forgot the other one. That sucks because I think they only had one of these. So that means I'm gonna have to go back and find two. But anyways, I got this for $9.99. Next, I got these glasses, $4.49. These glasses are really giving bougie on a budget. Y'all hear it? These are like the, you know, cognac, put ice in them, pour you some Hennessy and ice, like the real bougie and sit with your legs crossed and $4.49, it's like a dollar and 25, no, $4.99. It's like a dollar 25 cent per glass. Look at them glasses. They ain't even that cheap in Dollar Tree no more. I got these rags, $3.33. Nothing more, nothing less. 12 of them, $3.33. These are some good rags. Just to wash your tail, $3.33. Even if they do tear up in the laundry, like they don't cost nothing. I got more rags. So I got more rags. These was $2.99, but these are a little bit thicker and a little bit more, you know, but this is a six pack. Look at this, look at these rags. Got these towels for $1.99. Now these towels, these are basically body towels, but I mainly bought them for my kids. They're long, they are a little bit thin. As you can see, I like the big fluffy towels. But now I can use my big fluffy towels in peace and they can use these towels because they are little. They little kids. They don't need no thick fluffy towels. I got a, two more of those. I got two in the gray color because I really was going to use them as decoration in the bathroom. Honestly. So, yeah. I got this grip liner because I bought a new one of these dish rack sets. And this dish rack set was... This was $8.99, this dish rack set. But I wanted to put this black liner under the bottom because you see it don't have one of those little things, those little trays that it sit in. So I wanted to put this on the bottom and give it like a black look in my kitchen because I'm remodeling in there as well, like adding a little bit of stuff here and there. Um, and of course I got these gloves for $1.29, just some regular cleaning gloves and these sponges. These sponges were a dollar, three of them. They're cheaper than Dollar Tree now. Um, I don't know if I told y'all how much this was. How much was this grip liner? The magic grip, one dollar. 
this was a dollar and this is the long one too this is 12 inches by five feet this is a pretty good amount i'm not even gonna use all this just to put underneath that i guess i can add some more in my cabinet and then i got these cute little shoes first of all let's get into the quality look at the quality look at that these are some good sturdy shoes soft chow i love these shoes um coffee gets me started and jesus keeps me going these are so cute i'm not really a coffee fan but i drink it from time to time um but yeah i got these for 7.99 i ain't found nothing yet that i feel like was overpriced um and last but not least i got these candy popcorns look at these popcorns this is a sour patch popcorn we're gonna try this on my tiktok um right after i finish closing out with y'all i'm gonna go head over to my tiktok and we're gonna try this popcorn because my son been wanting it and then they have the eminem version hopefully my daughter hasn't ate it all because it's in there <laughs> but they have the eminems this is sour patch they also had twix um butterfinger and then we got snickers snickers popcorn y'all look at it snickers popcorn so be sure to go follow me on TikTok, underscore Pretty Brown Marie, underscore. Also follow me on Instagram at underscore Pretty Brown Marie, underscore. And I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog because this is the end. Like I said, be sure to follow me on all my socials. We be chit-chatting it up on TikTok. So that's where I chit-chat it up. But be sure to drop a comment. Also be sure to tap that like button and turn on that notification bell. Subscribe if you're new because you're going to love it here. I'm thinking about starting more vlogs like this um because it is summertime and i do go out and buy a lot of stuff because i be bored or i go like go places take my son places all that type of stuff so yeah just be sure to hit that subscribe button tap that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any future videos and i will see y'all in the next video peace